What's up, my friends? How are you? I hope that you're doing great. I want to drop some value here for you. I will drop some case studies on our usual Forex pairs that we cover. But first, I want to start from something else. As in our group, <clears throat> I don't want to be focused just on making money, on making money through trading, which is, of course, the focus of our group. <clears throat> but I also want to focus on making sure that you can compound money, you can multiply money, and you can actually compound your wins. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I will not start right away from our chart breakdowns, which is about Forex, but I want to give you some other insights, which if you know me, if you've been following me for a while, if you are an Excel student for some time, you know that this is crucial if you actually want to succeed long term. Now, of course, if you ask me, of course, our main focus is always on making money through trading. But this doesn't take away the fact that if you're not prepared to do everything else, to invest correctly and to compound your money, then all of the money that you're making will be useless. And if you don't trust me about it, you will just find out with time. So first of all, I want to start from gold. I've been buying gold since around this area, since uh, 1700. And I've been telling you about this. I've been telling you about this for a long time, so since we were down here. I've been telling you that we're going to go for some new all-time highs and we're going to create them. We're going to create them and not only that, but we're going to have a nice bull run on gold. And <clears throat> when is the best time to buy? Anytime, anytime there is a retracement. So anytime there is a retracement like this, you start buying. I've been buying all 2022. I've been buying gold, buying gold, buying gold. And when I say that I buy gold, I just buy physical gold. doesn't make sense to buy uh, contracts. Contracts are just not good. <clears throat> Other thing is definitely silver. Silver is even more discounted. Silver, zooming out, we're going to go for new all-time highs. And price will more than double. So we'll more than double from where we are at right now. And this will just happen because that's how silver is used in the industry. And also not only on the technical part, but just also on macroeconomics. Silver is necessary for too many things in order for it not to go up. Demand for silver is going up. The supply is the same. So we're going to increase price. <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> cryptos cryptos i've been telling you to buy i mean if you're in the channel you have access to what daniel is saying daniel is the crypto expert that i met at capital club by luke Benmer, and daniel was able to make at 21 years old he was able to make seven figures in the last crypto bull run when he was 21 now, for the next bull run, he's aiming to make eight figures, which means more than 10 millions. And after meeting with Daniel, I, I tried to understand what he was investing in, how he was investing, and what could have been the right way to position myself for next bull run. We talked a lot. We had a nice in-depth conversation. I went also to meet him a second time in Lisbon in order to have a deeper conversation. And in that occasion, we recorded a, a podcast for you, which is in which is inside the Discord for the members. And Daniel is also, is also sending a lot of messages and a lot of updates to all the members. So if you're not if you're not paying attention to what a crypto millionaire is doing and how he's positioning himself right now make eight figures in the next bull run then you're just I don't, i'm not sure what you're paying attention to i'm not sure if you're just scrolling on social media all day or, or what you're doing exactly because to me meeting daniel was good i doubled already my money in crypto i entered solana right here at 19 dollars we more than doubled right now and i know that a lot of people bought at these levels a lot of people bought up here I'm, i've already doubled my money so make sure that you check out the channels because the real source is over there. 
And with that being said, let's actually start the breakdown of our Forex pairs. I want to share with you some trades. And before sharing with you some trades, I want to tell you that when some, I already, I already said this in the channel. I think I sent a voice message about this. When there is a big news about, I don't know, COVID or war, you know, the war or whatever, when there is a big news, the market becomes emotional. And when the market becomes emotional, it doesn't hold technical analysis anymore. And when it doesn't hold technical analysis anymore, your strategy doesn't work anymore. Whether it is my strategy, you know, the Excel strategy or any other strategy, it just doesn't work anymore, okay? So when the market becomes emotional, when the market actually, when there is a big news in the market, and by big news, I don't mean the NFP, but I mean like a war outbreak in Israel or whatever, COVID or all of these things, then you just might, you just must take some days off. You must take two weeks off, okay? Because that's the only way to survive. Now let's go over some, some analysis that I have. So I wanted to explain some fake change of characters. I know it's a question from a lot of people. And I just want to go over some easy examples um what happened and why it is fake change of character it's, it is pretty easy uh, you should know this already but <clears throat> i will go over it so here a day starts and here what do we have previous day high perfect we have previous day high right here not only previous day one of the previous day highs maybe it is just the previous major high where we need to grab the liquidity in order to then possibly reverse now what happens just before and this almost always happens what happens just before we go for this liquidity? So this is the liquidity that I marked out from the previous high. What happens? We break to the upside, break to the downside. What is this? Are you really going to enter sales from here? Just like all the people on social media that post change of characters and they don't know anything about how the market really moves. So we grab liquidity, we break. A lot of people think it's change of character. They mark out the supply. Uh, we have imbalance, whatever we have a huge push to the upside. Why? Liquidity was not grabbed yet, okay? When liquidity is grabbed, everything changes. Liquidity is grabbed, then we can reverse, okay? If there is the correct confirmation. For the correct confirmation, you need to check out smart Excel concepts. But anyway, I will be covering fake change of characters. Grab of liquidity happened. This is not a setup that you will ever take. What you can take instead is break to the downside, break to the upside, 0.5%, entry, entry to the upside to target this, take profit at the liquidity. Now, is this a good setup to take? <clears throat> it is a good setup. It is an okay setup. It is not our best setup because if I can advise you, it would be best to trade the liquidity grabs and confirmations after that. But if you master it enough, you can also be good at trading fake change of characters. Now, when I say that you must master it enough, you really need to master it. And by mastering it, it can take one year to really backtest every single day to master when the, the best setups are actually taking place and everything. So it might take time, but this will, be, this will be up to you if you really want to become a master of the market or if you just want to be an average trader. All right, moving on. We didn't have many opportunities lately. I will say here I was looking for this liquidity grab, but we never grabbed this liquidity. Um, let me see. Yeah, they just didn't have many setups. As I said, um, the market becomes emotional after war. We need to be really careful. Here, same, here is the liquidity. Until this liquidity is taken, anything else is a fake change of character down here. In fact, here, if I zoom in, you would already notice that if I go on lower time frames and look at this, we have break to the upside, break to the downside, and then we just continue higher. This can be another good setup of a fake change of character to actually target the liquidity, which was taken. But let's move on here. Perfect. Here I had a stop loss because I was targeting liquidity. 
I was targeting liquidity and we just didn't go for liquidity. So this is an example of a failed setups uh, of a failed setup. And this can just happen. You know, we had a uh, fake change of character on lower time frames, confirmation. I was targeting liquidity, this liquidity actually right here, up here. And we just didn't go and didn't grab it. We just dropped. Okay. Here is an entry that went to profit, took a break even. Also here by covering this trade, it is pretty easy. I see liquidity up here. The thought, pro the thought process is very easy. You see liquidity, you see a fake confirmation, you get involved to target the liquidity, and that's pretty much it. Now, as I said already, 90% of the times, your good trades will be after the grab of liquidity. So grab of liquidity first, confirmation, good change of character, entry. This will be 90% of your trades. When you try to take the fake change of characters, they are either perfect setups or most of the times it is way more risky to trade this, okay? So in fact, here, went in profit, went half the way to take profit and then just hit a break even. Let's move on. Euro GBP. I had a nice trade on Euro GBP the other day and here, here it was. Uh, I had to close early because it was too late in the afternoon. It was already outside of New York session. But anyway, let me cover two things. One is here we have previous low liquidity. It's pretty easy. It is the only major liquidity that we see in the picture, right? The only major liquidity. Otherwise, we will need to go all the way down here, but it doesn't make sense. Here we have this major liquidity. What happens right here? Pretty easy to spot. Pretty easy to spot and pretty easy to decide to not trade this. What happens? We have break to the downside, break to the upside on lower time frames, whatever. We go all the way up here. Probably we hold a demand area that we have on lower time frames right here. I'm actually going to check it out. Perfect. Yeah, as you can see, break to the downside, break to the upside. We hold this demand. We go a little bit in profit. And then what? Then we go all the way down. This becomes a fake change of character. Why? We need to go and take the liquidity. After taking the liquidity, what happens? We just go and go bullish, right? After taking the liquidity, we just go and go bullish because the liquidity was taken and the objective, the goal of the market was achieved. And after that, the market reverses. It needs to go and grab the liquidity. Here, it grabs two types of liquidities. It grabs the fake change of character liquidity. So all the people that are getting in at this point, and it goes and grab their stop loss. Plus, it grabs the liquidity that we wanted to see, the major liquidity, the major low liquidity that... Yeah, here, major low liquidity it grabs it and then actually goes bullish. Now let's go and check it out and check out this trade, which is a trade that I took. Here, what do we have? The day starts, pretty easy to see. Day starts right here. So imagine the day starts, we're looking at charts and here some stuff starts happening. And here, to be honest, I, I also took a fake change of character trade. It was a one to two fake change of character trade that I took um and i didn't send this because of course it was more risky but i did send the sell on the signal channel as well so here we have the previous high and of course i know that we're probably going to go for the previous high for the major liquidity which is this one in order to then reverse so here at this point where i took the fake change of character we didn't yet take either this liquidity which is minor, minor liquidity. And we also didn't take the major liquidity. So I went on lower time frames, and let me see if we can actually go on the three minutes. I hope that we can. I was on the one minute, but right now it's kind of hard to, to show it. But anyway, here, what do we have? I mean, I don't think that I can show it. I wouldn't risk it since we're here. Um, we break to the upside, break to the downside. A lot of people think change of character. What I see is, fake change of character to target the liquidity. And I just took the entry. Uh, once we had a confirmation, took the entry and put the stop loss below the low right there and just hit a take profit, very quick trade. But after that, the most beautiful setup is when we have a good change of character after a fake change of character. This is the most beautiful thing that can happen in the market that we can ever trade. So here we also have 
if you recognize this from the type of setups that we have in the 2.0 and 3.0 course, we have accumulation before liquidity grab, liquidity grab, which is this one here, liquidity grab, confirmation, confirmation. Okay. Confirmation is even better because we close with the body. We close with the body can with the body of the candle below. So it's even better. Of course, if it is a week, we can still use it, but even better this way. We retrace, I took an entry from the 0.5% um, here on this supply area, stop loss above the protected high, which is this one, stop loss above there. And my target was a one to four, but then I had to close early because it was so late outside of my sessions that I really couldn't keep it open. I don't like to keep it open. So these are some key concepts that I really want to share with you. And, you know, at this point, it is just up to you to really apply them. You know, I was with a student the other day and actually this is a, an issue that a lot of my students have, especially the ones that I meet in person and they can share more their opinions with me. You know, there is more of a conversation. They tell me, Ed, like, I know the strategy works. I know how it works. I know when to take the trade and when not to take the trade. I know the plan. I know everything, but I struggle applying it. I just don't stick to my plan. What can I do? And guys, the answer is so easy. Like, of course, I can give you the practical way. And for all the people asking, there is a mindset course that we have that can help you develop the habits of actually installing the habits to become disciplined, to actually trade your trading plan, to change your identity. It is a complete course of mindset. But other than that, the main thing is that without even giving you all the technical part, you just need to, to do it, guys. Like you just need to do it. Do what you tell yourself that you're gonna do. You just do it. You know exactly what the issue is. You know exactly how to fix it. You're just not doing it. I know it's hard. I was there as well. It's It's been extremely hard for me to actually be able to do, be disciplined in my trading plan. I went through over trading. I went through um, over risking. I went through chasing losses. I went through all of it. But at, there is a point where you just need to sit down with yourself, look at yourself in the mirror, or just think by yourself, sit somewhere and think by yourself and decide that from now on, I will stick to my plan no matter what. It's the only option. Just realize and tell to yourself, the only option that I have to become a profitable trader is to stick to what I say I will do, is to stick to my plan is to actually do the things that I know that work. Is to actually take only the best setups that Edward is teaching me. Otherwise, if I take all of these other shit trades, of course I'm gonna end up in a loss. Otherwise, if I don't stick to my plan, of course I'm gonna end up in a loss. So this is my message for you. Um, just do it, guys. Uh, one thing that also helped me was to write down on a piece of paper, the things that I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do them, and then sign it with your signature. When you put your signature down, if you have some self-respect, you're gonna you're gonna actually do it. So yeah. I value a lot my signature, and you should you should do the same as well. So do it. This is a message for you. I hope that both the technical part and the mindset part was helpful for you. And I'll see you next time.